Hey everybody, Ben the Compost Guy, Christy here again. I just want to provide you with an update on my alfalfa growing experiment. Once again, this was an attempt to test out the effectiveness of worm castings, a very basic worm castings extract, a tea, and just a liquid fertilizer and a control treatment with water. I have filmed another update earlier. Uh, what happened since that update is that I basically decided that I wanted to kind of wrap things up. But one thing I wanted to test before I wrap things up was the potential for castings and perhaps tea um, to increase drought resistance. This is something that I kind of accidentally discovered uh, quite a few years ago. Uh, during an experiment. I'll provide a link to that one, to a blog post about that uh, in the description. But basically what happened was I just, I had soaked some seeds in water and in water that had a pinch of castings in it just to test things out. I really was looking at germination and early growth of plants. I wasn't thinking about drought resistance. And I totally forgot about them. You know, everything kind of started off similarly to this experiment. The seeds ha not hatched, they, uh, <laughs> they sprouted. And the funny thing is, similar to this experiment, the water treatment actually kind of looked better initially. I think I had uh, early germination with the water and then the, the initial growth of those plants. They were chia seeds, so chia plants. Uh, was better with the water, but then I totally forgot about them and came back to them sometime and it was amazing. The, the water treated seeds were completely wilted down, whereas the, the, uh, the, the ones that had been slightly treated with a bit of castings were still fine. They were still okay. And I ended up uh, doing it again with the, the same ones, I neglected them again. And then it was the exact same results again. So really, really interesting. I wanted to test things out with this one, somewhat different. These plants are definitely further along than those seedlings in the, the other experiment. But I was just kind of curious to uh, see what would happen. And I should mention, you know, overall, these plants have been abused pretty badly in this particular experiment. Uh, like I said in the other video, they didn't have very good lighting at first, not very much warmth initially as well. They're down in my cool, dark basement. So anything you see here um, shouldn't be sort of any kind of overall indication of, of uh, what castings and teas can do. Um, this is a very basic experiment. I'm just, just kind of curious to see what would happen. Anyway. Uh, yeah, this liquid fertilizer treatment did not do well at all. It started out very, very uh, well. It did, the plants were doing well. They were um, doing probably as well as, as any of the others. But then something just kind of went off, and I don't know what it was. And it wasn't a matter of me just adding too much of it. I actually didn't add that much of the fertilizer or these other treatments for that matter. I mean, a lot of what these plants received while growing was water. So anyway, it didn't really work out. This is a smaller pod. I kind of added as an afterthought. I'm not going to overthink it, but this one, you know, once I started drying out the plants, it, they, these plants just died off 100%. So this one is completely toast. No doubt about it. I just wanted to kind of take a look in there. And see some obviously some root growth but anyway I kind of gave up on that one pretty uh, quickly once I started drawing these plants out and as far as the, the drawing went um, these these plants are on a warming mat they have a uh, grow light over top of them so they draw it dried out quite quickly and within a few days uh, it was looking pretty rough for the, the water treatment. I wrote a blog post about it. I'll link over to that uh, with the photos of day three and I think day five. And by day three, the water treatment wasn't looking all that hot. These two were looking okay. 
But then by day five, interestingly enough, the casting treatment was starting to wilt pretty badly. Not as bad as that, but uh, starting to wilt down. And this one, I mean, it looks not that great when you look at it. It's sort of yellow and it's got these, these things. This is the one that got the T and it basically stayed as vibrant and bushy as that all the way along. And so what, as you can tell, obviously these plants have been somewhat rehydrated. So I kind of took pity on them after I think about five days and have started the, uh, to water them again. And so they're certainly bouncing back, but you can see clearly, even if they're not perfectly growing plants, they're not super healthy, um, considering how much abuse they've taken, uh, they're doing fairly well. And it's clear that the tea and the castings are resulting in, uh, in bushier growth, for sure. I mean, this water treatment, they look okay, but they're uh, kind of sparse. Anyway, I'm kind of curious to know, you know, a bit more abuse, I'm afraid. But I'm just kind of curious to see what's going on down below. So you can see decent root growth and this soil mix uh, is reported to contain some compost. So I think it, it had a certain amount of beneficial stuff in there that would have helped with drought, you know, even just on its own. And these ones have that same soil mix, but of course they received some additional goodness. Now look at that, speaking of goodness. I don't know, I think you might agree that the root growth, if you just kind of look at that. Yeah, I would say that there's a pretty decent de difference. Okay, so this is again, this is just the water one over here. And then just look at the density of those roots in the castings treatment. So that was 25% castings. I'm just gonna dump out this tea. And then here, oh wow, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. That is really cool. So there you have it. So this is the, the liquid extract, what I've been calling the tea. This is the castings. I mean, look how thick those are. Even just the individual roots, they look really thick. And I think this is kind of helping to explain what's been going on here. So, I mean, they're okay. These, this is not bad. And this is probably why this one hang, hung on obviously <laughs> longer than that poor thing over there. But... Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I think, you know, whatever's going on, castings and what's in castings, it's not just a compost effect. There's clearly something in the casting because this is a liquid. It has some bit of suspension that goes with it, but there's something going on in there um, in the casting that's ending up in the water, in the, in the liquid extract that is, you know, adding these beneficial root growing uh, abilities, I guess, to these plants. So yeah, very, very interesting. Um, that's pretty much it for this experiment. But uh, yeah, I, I certainly want to keep testing out uh, the castings and I'm really, really impressed with these simple extracts. This isn't tea, not amended tea with all kinds of stuff in it. This is literally a basic extract liquid extract of the castings you can sit you know without any kind of aeration or anything like that just because it doesn't have any uh, sugars or anything in it that is going to feed the microbes so obviously there's still some really good beneficial properties in there beneficial compounds um, that are you know having a positive impact on plant growth anyway that's enough for this one once again this is bentley compost guy christy and we'll certainly be talking again soon